out in the industry doing hooks for like rappers and stuff in the mixtape era when mixtapes was like, you know, everybody was just passing out this mixtapes just to get hurt. And I just hit people up on like, you know, at, at the time it's probably like MySpace and Facebook just, or just wherever, you know, I could. And it's like, can I do a hook for you? And people let me. And then I started getting paid. And it just grew from there. Wake up in the morning with scratches all over my back. I've been fucking the shit out of my After she give me the brain, I'ma give her the pain. She said that I love you for some. Smash on that girl in designer. Hold on. Wait, let me roll up this What's good up, marijuana. Everybody? I'm Tasha Couture. I'm a producer, songwriter, um, engineer, um, female activist, uh, all of the above. I've been knowing that I wanted to do music. Man, probably ever since I joined like the choir, the sunshine band, like in church, uh, probably when I was five. I loved singing when they first gave me my first solo. I was like, man, I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, Sydney Renee, I got to shout her out, my homegirl. She, we actually came up, you know, songwriting together. And we was in LA one time in the hills, just chilling. And she pulled out her MPC and she was like, bitch, I'm finna make some beats. And I was like, for real? And I was like, and she was like, yeah, so. I was like, damn, show me, you know what I'm saying? We'll walk. But she didn't really know what the hell she was doing either. So she was showing me some shit, but I couldn't get it. But after that, I was just like, damn, this bitch could do it. I could do it. I was like, we do the same thing. Like, if she could make some beats, I could make them. So I got home, and surprisingly, it was Valentine's Day. And my fiance, he bought me a, a PC laptop. So I was like, damn, this must be an omen. Like, it's, it's destined to be or whatever. So. I got through the loose from my homeboy MP, MP, 808 Mafia, and he showed me around it. It was history after that. I just, you know, I fell in love with it first. And then, you know, once the um, water and people started rapping on them, I was like, oh shit, this shit gonna take off. Yeah, and yeah. Some of my biggest influences were, or are, probably Babyface. Um, um, as far as, you know, like production and songwriting. I'm definitely Esther Dean, you know, as far as songwriting and, you know, just breaking her right through the industry as a young black female. Um, Brandy, I love Brandy, you know, uh, again, for the same reasons. You know what I'm saying? Of course, their talent and what they brought to the, you know, the culture. I definitely enjoy production more than any other aspect I dabbled in just because I can create from scratch from there, you know what I'm saying, and everything just derives from that. My favorite artist I'm working with right now is Persona. Um, he's extra dope. He like, I feel, I feel like he's a star. He's going far too. I probably would say Water because it got me, it made me believe in myself as a producer, I say, I would say. I mean, I already believed, but it like solidified, like, damn, this, you could really do something. You could really, you know, go. The most important thing is to add value. Like I said before, I would text people and ask people and say, you know, let me offer you a hook. Let me do something for you. Like, can I write your verse or can I do something, you know? And then, you know, you, you give and then you take. You know what I'm saying? Then you start, you know, asking for favors and all this other stuff. but. You gotta add value first. That will be my, you know, number one key. Yeah, it, just dealing with other people. Like in this industry, you're gonna have to, especially as a producer, you got to wait and you got to move with what another, another motherfucker say. Like you can't just, that's why I wanna, you know, create a, where I'm the artist, you know what I'm saying? Where I can be in control or, you know, go half and half with the artist. Or just, you know, have more leverage than just waiting for an artist to drop a record or waiting for them to shout you out or waiting for anything. Just, I want to just create my own thing. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like just that, the hurdle of just, you know, feeling helpless, not being able to move when you want to move and control what you want to control. You know, I don't, you know, can't speak on a specific thing, but just that as a whole, like just dealing with people, you know. You want to do your own thing. Oh man, Doby was a sweetheart. He fought with me tough. Like he's always called me when he want, you know, like girls hooks and just like singing and stuff and melodic records and stuff. We did a lot of stuff together. He pulled up in my apartment over there in Foxcroft, over there in Bristol Downs, got down 
everywhere, you know? We hit the radio stations together. He was a, he was a real smell. You fought with me, and I fought with him. In my eyes, it does not. It's, it gives me a job. It gives people, other creatives, a way in. And it, it takes more than, you know, one to do anything. Like, it, it takes a team. It takes a village to raise a child. Like, it'd be great if more ears on it just, instead of just your perspective, it's a lot more, you know? I feel like people don't look at the aspect of it and they just think, oh, he ain't right, you know? But, Somebody did, you know what I'm saying? And they get credited. Just go dig a little deeper. Fall in love with them, you know? Definitely. You have to you have to carry yourself a different way. You have to it's you know, I I it's it's a tricky question because it's, it's, it's yes and no because it's like you still gotta know how to move like the boys and you gotta know how to move with the wolves and make sure your drums hitting just as hard and you know what I'm saying you can be in a room full of niggas and they talk a shit about bitches and you not get all sensitive and or you know anything you might get hit on or something but you know how to just hey you know I'm good on that or whatever we'll walk handle it with like a lady or whatever and you, you know it's just it's just moving with dignity and just grace and, you know, having niggas respect you, you know what I'm saying? That's that's like my top priority over even doing music, you know what I'm saying? I want to make it the, you know, the, the, the respect me for you love me, you know, respect me for you, I mean, trust me and respect me for you love me, like, I want that first, so yeah. It depends on who I'm working with, like, it depends on if I'm passionate about the project, I will allow them in my space and then, you know, in my energy, but you can't let everybody in, you know? So, yeah, if it's, you know, I would definitely, it's, the placement is guaranteed if you're in the room, you know, and if you know what you're doing. But emailing is powerful too, man. It's 2019. I got hella plays off just an email. So I'm not going to, you know, put email down because I love it. You know, that's really how I made, you know, a lot of my waves just from emailing, you know, so both, both, just just optimize, you know, do both and go crazy at both and find other avenues as well. Um, just create my own thing, like just in collaborating with talented motherfuckers, you know, just trying to create a sound and um, a safe haven for women in this industry, um, an example, you know, just pave a way, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know, really. I'm just trying to work with some great people and, and, and make a difference, change the culture. Um, Tasha Couture is my IG, Facebook, it's just plain, T-A-S-H-A-C-A-T-O-U-R, everywhere across the book. Fuck with me. <laughs>